As built for AutoCAD, Feature Data Tutorial 3, Modeling and Configuration of a Data Structure, Part 1 of 3, Draft a Structure Definition. After this tutorial, you will be able to plan and draft a structure definition for your feature data collection. Define what classes of objects features you need. Define attributes for your classes. Define relational links between the classes. Define base classes that other classes may inherit properties from. To work with this tutorial, you need a fully installed version of AutoCAD or AutoCAD LT, into which As Built for AutoCAD has been integrated. You should also have read the Feature Data Model chapter of the As Built for AutoCAD user manual, which provides the theoretical base for the following example. Preparation and Analysis this example contains two stylized rooms with office furniture and a pillar. There are three types of furniture, tables, chairs, and chairs for guests. The structure definition to be created must meet the following requirements. Recording of rooms with surface area, room number, and use. Recording of furniture and inventories with inventory number, price, and type of furniture or facility. Grouping of some furniture to workplaces. Allocation of furniture and inventories to rooms. Assign employees to workstations. There are many plans of the same kind. Draft of a structure definition. After due consideration, you might get the following structure definition. The predefined classes area and subarea with their attributes, surface area, perimeter, and factor are used as basis for the classes room and room polygon, since the surface areas of the room need to be calculated and the facilities are to be assigned to rooms. Therefore, room inherits from area and room polygon from subarea. Room and room polygon are linked by room has polygon. Workplace and inventory inherit from facility and are linked with the rooms by has facility. Workplace and inventory are linked by Workplace Has Inventory. The remaining information has been assigned to the respective classes as attributes. Attribute definitions follow this format. Attribute name, data type, text, any character string that must be entered when changing an attribute. For example, the attribute employee is a text type. Key, a unique key value. Every object receives another value for this attribute. For example, inventory number and room number are a key type. Selective list and enumeration value can be selected from a predefined list. Inventory type is an example of a selective list type. Decimal number, a floating point number. Inventory price is an example of a decimal number type. Extendable selective list, an enumeration but extendable by the user. For example, the room attribute use is of this type. Criticism of the first draft. The prices of a piece of furniture or other inventory should be the same for all inventory of the same type. This property is not enforced by the first draft. Sometimes employees share a workplace. This fact cannot be implemented using the first draft. We also expect to capture more information on employees later other than the name. The second draft eliminates all the deficiencies of the first draft. Add the employee class linked with workplace by employee uses workplace. Add the inventory type class linked with the inventory by inventory has type. Employee has an attribute name that is a text type. Inventory type has the following attributes. Description is a selective list type and price is a decimal number type. Notice the major changes highlighted here. In this tutorial, you learned how to plan and draft a structure definition for your featured data collection. Define what classes of objects features you need. Define attributes for your classes. Define relational links between the classes. Define base classes that other classes may inherit properties from. Realization of the draft inside as built for AutoCAD.
Open Tutorial 3.wg inside the software and watch As Built for AutoCAD Feature Data Tutorial 3 Part 2 and learn how to put the draft into place.